Hello, I'm Pastor Mary Beth from the Tremble United Methodist Church. I'm glad you're here for this short meditation. One of the most famous Charles Dickens starting paragraphs is from A Tale of Two Cities, and this is how it goes. It was the best of times, it was the worst of times. It was the age of wisdom, it was the age of foolishness. It was the epoch of belief, it was the epoch of incredulity. It was the season of light, it was the season of darkness. It was the spring of hope, it was the winter of despair. Well, heck, that about sums up my day yesterday. I don't know about you. Now, these are statements of paradox. And if there was ever a paradoxical time, it is now. Maybe your statements of paradox go something like this. I'm lonely, but I am learning how much I like my own company. I'm bored, but I'm getting so much done. I'm a better cook, but I'm sick of my own cooking. I'm restless. I'm weary. There is much paradox in the Bible. For example, in Matthew chapter 5, verse 16, Jesus said, Let your light shine before others, so that they may see your good works. But then, in Matthew 6, 1, he said, Be careful not to practice your righteousness in front of the others to be seen by them. Which one is true? Of course, context is everything, and paradox is everywhere. And truth is everywhere and yet elusive. Did you see how I just did that? Part of taking compassionate care of ourselves is really realizing how there is truth even in the opposites that make us up. I'm thoughtful, but I have selfish thoughts. I love my family, but they're driving me a little bit nuts. I am determined to lose weight, but I can't resist chocolate almond fudge ice cream. We are complex creatures. And we hold many truths. Accepting that goes a long way towards nurturing the truths we'd like to become the most dominant within us. So I'm going to invite you to close your eyes. Go ahead and close your eyes. Breathe deep, deeply and fill your belly. Exhale all the air out, deflating your belly. Do that one more time. Now breathe normally, normally, recognizing and appreciating that each breath is keeping you alive, that God has touched you with the gift of light because you are worthy and valuable and beautiful. Breathe in, accepting that you have a mirror image, a flip side, and breathe out, releasing resistance to this idea. Now imagine a warm light shining on top of your head Feel it descending into your eyes, your nose, and your jaw. Sense that warmth spreading downward into your neck and your shoulders. It's heavy, this warmth, and it draws your muscles, your bones, your skin towards the earth. Feel this warmth as the tenderness of God touching your arms and your hands. Now it's lowering into your ribs, lower into your belly, and your hips, down through your legs. It's warm, it's heavy. Now imagine as it finishes its journey in your feet, that your whole body, though relaxed, is also renewing itself. The paradox is that this calming warmth is energy and it's recharging you. And now feel the warm light oozing into the ground below you, leaving a brightness behind, a shimmering vitality that allows you to function with clarity and with love. 
And now open your eyes. Blink a few times. Smile. And be your beautiful self. God bless you today.